<clears throat> okay, and we're gonna start in a seated position, um, Sukhasana or easy seat, if you like that position. But if you have another way that you like to sit and that works better for you, then find a seat that's comfortable and lets you sit up nice and tall. And then once you've found a seat, shoulders down, nice tall spine, close your eyes or just soften your gaze and just for a moment, let your body and your mind settle in. And as you start to come to your mat and you're starting to find that kind of settling in, tune in right away down to your feet and notice if you've picked up any tension in your toes or tension in your feet, can you let your feet soften? And then notice if you've picked up any tension in your hands or your fingers and can you let your hands soften? And then just for a moment here, tune in and pay attention to the rhythm of your breath without changing or forcing the breath. Just notice your natural inhalation and your natural exhalation. And then sometimes just by paying attention to the breath, <clears throat> it brings a slower and deeper breath in. So just notice if you've drawn in a nice long inhalation, slowed down your exhalation, or has it tightened up a little bit and have you picked up tension in your shoulders? And if so, can you soften your shoulders, soften your jaw, and then still just keeping with that natural inhalation and natural exhalation. And then before we move away from this place of stillness, take a moment here to set an intention to honor your mind and your body throughout your practice, never doing anything in your practice that would cause your body pain and treating yourself with love, care, and respect. And then with that intention set, eyes opened or closed, totally up to you. As you inhale, just let your shoulders lift up to your ears. And as you exhale, let your shoulders melt down. Inhale and let your shoulders lift. Exhale and let your shoulders melt down. <clears throat> On this next inhale, as you let your shoulders lift, maybe just tune into the area of your armpit chest and notice your engagement there. Exhale, let your shoulders melt down. And then pay attention to the shoulder blades in the back side of your body. Inhale, let your shoulders lift. Exhale, let your shoulders melt down. And now we're going to take the shoulders and curl them forward. So almost as if you're trying to close your heart up, just draw your shoulders in towards each other and then open up with a nice big inhale. Exhale and curl the shoulders in towards each other for that nice little bit of rounding in the back side of the body. Inhale and just find a little opening through the front of your heart. Exhale to curl your shoulders in and then round your shoulders back, take a nice big inhale. Beautiful, and then find a neutral position with the shoulders, softening down a little opening through the front of the heart, and then take your hands down to the ground and we're gonna move through the wrist. So as you inhale, you're gonna twirl your wrists up and overhead. And as you exhale, twirl your wrists in the other direction and float your hands down. Inhale, twirl your wrists up and overhead. Exhale, switch directions over your wrists and float your hands down. 
Beautiful. One more, just like that. Inhale, going up. Exhale, reverse directions and take it on down. Nice. And then we're going to start a light little twisting action. First, start with just your fingers touching the floor. So you're probably not going to go too far. You might bump into your knees. And then you're going to start to let your hands lift and float around to your knees and go a little bit further into that twisting action. But make it a little bit of a rapid pace, but just make sure that it feels like a comfortable pace for you. Awesome. And then the next time your right hand finds your left knee, stay there. Think about getting nice and tall on your inhale. Cool. And then when you're ready, release and take it over to the other side. Awesome, and then we're gonna take that twist back over to the other side, but we're gonna lighten up the intensity of the twist. So maybe your heart is just rotated towards your knee and then move into a little bit of a cat and cow here. As you inhale, lift your heart, lift your chin. Exhale, pull your abdominal muscles and get a little rounding in the shoulders. Inhale to lift your heart. Exhale to round. One more here, inhale to lift. Exhale to round. And then find a neutral spine. That backhand is gonna to reach to shoulder height. Flip your palm so it faces up towards the ceiling and add a little side bend here. Take a nice deep breath in, noticing the side of your body, noticing your ribs. Beautiful. And then when you're ready, release. And we're gonna take that twist over to the other side, a light version of that twist so your heart is facing towards your knee. Inhale, lift your heart, squeeze a little between the shoulder blades. Exhale and round, pull the ribs back. Beautiful. Inhale and lift. Exhale and round. One more cycle of breath. And then find a neutral spine, pick up that back hand, flip the palm so it's facing up towards the ceiling and add a little side bend. Nice, and then when you're ready, lift on up. <clears throat> rotate back to center and into an easy seated forward fold. So we're gonna walk ourselves forward just to a depth that feels good to you. And then right away, pay attention. Notice your low back, notice the outsides of your hips or your hip creases and notice your knees. And if anything is going on there that wants a little attention throughout your practice, just take a time to, here to be mindful and then pay attention to those places through the rest of your work. Take one more breath. Cool, and then when you're ready, press into your fingertips, pull your button, belly button in, round back nice and strong. Swim your hands behind your back, squeeze your shoulder blades, lift your chest, lift your chin, take a nice big breath. Awesome, and then release nice and slow. And we're gonna swing our legs out in front of us with a super generous bend of the knees, hands behind you. Just give a little windshield wiper action with those knees, bringing a little fluid movement into the hips and then just checking in. How do your knees feel here? How do your ankles feel? How do your hips feel? And you might even notice how do your wrists feel here. Awesome, one more little rock side to side. And then we're gonna bring it to center, sit up with a little bit of tallness and grab your TheraBand or your yoga strap, whatever you're working with today. We're gonna catch hold of the bottom of the right foot. So left knee is gonna stay as bent as you like. And we're just gonna take a couple little bend and straightens of the legs using your TheraBand or your yoga strap, just to give you a little bit of feedback. So if you're not into using this TheraBand or the yoga strap, you can always just grab the back of the thigh and a little bend and straighten there. What we just wanted is to tune in, pay attention. How are your hamstrings feeling this morning? Awesome, one more little bend and straighten there. And then we're gonna take it to the other foot. So release your foot from your loop, take it over to the other side, pick that foot up, right leg can be wherever it likes. And then just find a little length through the back of the leg, tuning in, noticing how the back of your leg feels. Nice, one more lift and lower of that leg. <clears throat> and then when you're ready, set your yoga strap off to the side, right into Baddha Konasana or butterfly pose or cobbler's pose, <laughs> all of the feet together, knees out to the left and to the right, and then find a nice tall lifted spine. We're gonna lean forward just slightly. 
So maybe you lean forward about two or three inches just to feel a little sensation in the inner thigh and the groin, and then right away tune into your knees. Notice how your knees feel in this position. Wonderful, and then lift yourself back on up. And then we're gonna crisscross our ankles. So you're gonna open your diamond shape up a little bit and then crisscross one angle on top of the other. And then we're gonna crisscross our arms. So you're gonna reach across, one arm find one knee, one arm find the other knee, three cat cows here. Inhale as you lift your chest, squeeze your shoulder blades. Exhale to hang onto your knees, round your back. Inhale to lift. Exhale to round. One more breath, inhale. Exhale and round, hang out here for just one extra second. Feel that little tug between the shoulder blades, notice your low back. And then lift to a neutral position, uncross your arms, recross your legs so the other leg comes on top and then reposition your arms so that the other arm is on top this time. And then once you've got your crisscross set up, right back to that cat and cow. Inhale to lift your heart, exhale to round back. Inhale to lift, exhale to round. One more time, inhale, exhale round, stay there for one extra breath. Beautiful, and then lift up and now we're gonna swing the legs out and around so we come into our tabletop position. So spin yourself around, take your time here, <clears throat> and then just take a moment to tune in. Notice your knees against the floor. Notice your hands against the floor, spread your fingers nice and wide so we create a nice good surface area so our wrists aren't taking on too much work. And then curl both sets of toes under. We're gonna take a few rocks forward and back. Pull your butt back toward your heels and then rock yourself forward slightly. And as you pull your butt back to your heels, notice your toes, the bottoms of your feet. Can you keep a sense of softness through the bottoms of your feet as you pull your butt back to your heels? Awesome, one more time forward and back. And then as you come back up into your tabletop position, left toes can release, but keep your right toes curled under, slide your right foot back and then right into a rocking forward and back. Now working up into the Achilles heel and the calf. Nice, and then the next time you press back into that heel, stay there for one extra breath. Keep that leg long, but bring your shoulders back in line with your wrist. Now we're gonna take that right leg and slide it all the way over to the left. So it's gonna come across the back side of the body, hug your left shoulder towards your left hip. So we squeeze in through the left side body, maybe look over your left shoulder and take a nice big breath. Beautiful, and then when you're ready, release, sliding all of that in and taking it to the other side. So left toes curled under, slide your foot back, rock yourself forward and back. Nice, and then the next time you press back into that heel, stay there for an extra breath. And then bring your shoulders back in line with your wrist, but keep that leg long, slide that left foot over to the right. So it comes across the back side of your mat, hug your right shoulder in towards your right hip, look over your right shoulder towards your left foot and take a nice big breath. Beautiful, and then when you're ready, release. Slide that foot back in into your tabletop position and then right into puppy pose. Keep your hips in line with your knees. Walk your hands forward, let your chest and your forehead melt down. Take three nice big breaths here. Cool, and then when you're ready, slowly and mindfully walk yourself back up into tabletop position. We're gonna slide the right leg back again. Keep the leg nice and long, and then we're just gonna pick the heel up so your heel comes in line with the hips, and then lower it back down. And then as you tune in here, just kind of notice the hip hinge or the front of your hip, and then notice your glutes or your right gluteus muscles and see if you can just find a little bit of squeeze as you lift that leg up in line with your hip. Nice, take one more time up and down. And then set that leg down, slide it in, take it to the other side. Left leg is gonna slide back. <clears throat> and then we're just lifting and lowering, but seeing if we can just find some engagement in the back of the leg, in the glutes, noticing how it feels through the front of your hip.
Beautiful, one more lift and lower there and then bring it back on down, big toes together, knees to the outer edges of your mat, find your way to extended child's pose. Pull your butt back to your heels and then just let everything settle in here. Let your belly, your chest, your forehead melt down. Take a little time to soften and come back to your breath. Nice, generous inhale. Nice, slow exhale. Take two more nice deep breaths here. Awesome, and then when you're ready, slowly and mindfully start to lift yourself back up. Keep the knees wide, swing your toes out nice and wide. So we find that nice wide base of support and then walk your hands out wide as well. So hands are gonna find the outer edges of your mat. Curl your toes under, lift up into a wide downward facing dog. And then take a few pedals of the legs here and just notice how pedaling the legs in that wider position might feel a little different than when your feet are in that hip width distance. So you might find there's a little bit more movement through the whole backside of the body rather than just through the hamstrings and the back of the leg. Take one or two more pedals of the legs, and then we're gonna walk our hands back towards our feet. So we're gonna keep that wide position of the feet, soften your knees, walk your hands back towards your feet, sort of come into the back edge of your mat. And then once you're here, like you're taking little mini side lunges, bend one knee and then the other. Awesome, one more little bend of the knee side to side, and then we're gonna turn the toes out. So a little external rotation, turn the toes out to the left and to the right. Bend your knees a lot, pull your abdominal muscles in, roll up to a standing position, take your time as you come on up, roll the shoulders around, down and back. And then with that wide position of the legs, inhale, reach your arms up, think five pointed star, exhale, sink into your goddess squat, tucking your tailbone under slightly, engaging the inner thighs, and then inhale, reach right back up, five pointed star, Exhale, sink into your squat again. Nice, one more time, just like that. Inhale and reach up. Exhale, sink into your squat. And then hands are gonna find the insides of the knees. So there's a little hinge from your hips, lean your heart forward. Exhale, take your left shoulder towards your right knee. Inhale and bring it back to center. Exhale, twist the other way. Inhale, bring it back to center. Beautiful, exhale, twist left shoulder to right knee. Inhale to center. Exhale, twist the other way. Inhale to center. Awesome, one more time each side. Exhale as you twist. Inhale as you bring it back to center. Exhale to the other side. Inhale back to center and then lift your heart up, float back into that goddess squat. So arms are gonna come out to the shoulders and then hang here for a moment and just notice the strength in your legs. Firm up your center just a little bit. So feel a little bit of strength in your, in your abdominal muscles. And then see if you can just pull your elbows back slightly, get a little squeeze between the shoulder blades. Take one more good breath. Beautiful, and then press into your feet, lift up nice and strong, pivot your heels so toes point forward. And then we're gonna reach forward to a halfway point. So we're just gonna lengthen out, reaching long through the arms. And then with that strong position of the back, back to those cactus arms. So elbows are gonna pull in line with the shoulders, keeping that nice strong back and then reaching our arms out nice and long. Pull the elbows back. Reach your arms out nice and long. One more, just like that. Pull the elbows back. Beautiful, reach your arms out nice and long and then soften your knees, float your hands down to the ground. We're gonna walk the hands forward, walk the feet in, come into a downward facing dog position. Once you've found your downward facing dog, take a few pedals of the legs here and just notice that difference. Take one or two more pedals of the legs. And then when you're ready, look forward, walk your feet up to meet your hands, come to a ragdoll fold at the top of your mat.
Give a second here, let your head hang nice and heavy. If it feels good, grab your elbows and maybe you invite a little sway into your body. Nice, take one more little sway side to side. And then we're gonna stay in this bent over position, but let your fingertips touch the ground. Shift your weight onto your left foot. And we're just gonna see how it feels to pick up the right heel. Like you're trying to bring your right heel toward your butt. Get a little squeeze in the hamstring muscles. So you're really feeling like you're really trying to pull that heel toward your butt and then release that foot down. Shift your weight over to your right foot. Pick your left foot up, bend your knee, hug your heel in toward your butt. Beautiful, release that foot down to the ground. Both knees are gonna have a soft bend. Pull your abdominal muscles in, roll up to a standing position, take your time. And then as you come up, just give yourself a second to get situated at the top of your mat and then find your mountain pose. Toes and knees pointing fairly forward, lifting up from the soles of the feet, a little lift through the front of the legs, but not locking into the knee joint and then lifting up energetically through the crown of your head. And then pause here just for a moment. Eyes closed or open, totally up to you, but just tune back into your breath. Take a nice, generous inhale, hopefully breathing in through your nose. And a nice, slow exhale. Take one more breath here and just feel your feet connected to the ground. Nice, and then when you're ready, inhale, raise your arms up and look up. Exhale, hands to heart center. We're gonna interlace the fingers, flip the palms, press them forward, bring them up and overhead. Take a little side bend one way. Come back to center, take a little side bend the other way. Come back to center, float those hands back down through your heart and then let your hands come down at your sides. Inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale, hands to heart center, interlace your fingers the weird way, flip the palms, press them forward, bring them up and overhead, take a little side bend one way. Come back to center, take a side bend the other way. Come back to center, flip the palms, bring those hands right through your heart center, hands down at your sides. Nice, inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Now we're gonna interlace the fingers, whichever version of that interlace you like. Flip the palms, press them forward, bring them up and overhead. And then we're gonna flip the palms so now they face down towards the crown of your head. Bend your knees and then like you're rounding and pulling this big giant beach ball across the front of your body up to your heart center. Flip your palms, press them forward, bring them up and overhead, a little lift of your chest. Flip the palms, bend your knees, round through the back of your body, pull it all the way up to the heart center. Flip your palms, press forward, up and overhead. Flip the palms, bend your knees, round and scoop that ball up to your heart. Beautiful, two more just like that. Flip, press forward, up and overhead. Flip the palms, bend the knees, round and pull it all the way up to your heart. Lovely, one last time. Flip the palms, press them forward, up and overhead. Flip the palms, bend your knees, scoop it all up to your heart. And then as you come back to heart center, prayer hands come together, close your eyes down and just for a moment, notice. Notice your breath. Notice the warmth generated in your body. Awesome, and then when you're ready, hands come down at your sides and find your mountain pose again. <clears throat> Inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale, bend your knees and fold all the way down to the ground. Inhale to a half forward fold, hands slide to the shins. Keep that length in your spine, bend your knees, push into your feet, inhale, arms up. Hands to heart center, hands down at your sides. Inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale, bend your knees and fold. Inhale to half forward fold. This time we're gonna soften down. So exhale as you bend your knees and soften, pull your abdominal muscles in, round and roll up to standing. Roll your shoulders around, down and back. Beautiful, inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale, bend your knees and fold. Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale, we'll soften down and then press firm into your feet. Inhale, sweep your arms all the way up and overhead. Hands to heart center, press your palms together, elbows stay nice and wide, shift your weight over to your left foot, pick your right heel up, big toe stays on the ground, firm up your center, put a little extra press between your palms and your fingers, 
and then lift your thigh just slightly up away from the ground. Lower it back down with control. Shift your weight over to your right foot. Peel your left heel up. Big toe stays on the ground. Press between your palms. Lift your thigh up. Lower it down with control. And then come back to your mountain pose. Beautiful. Inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale and fold everything down. Big knees bent or straight, totally up to you. Inhale to a half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, step both feet back to downward facing dog. Take a few pedals of the legs here. Now tuning in and noticing the backs of your legs behind the knees, the backs of the thighs. Notice your ankles and your calves. Nice, take one more pedal of the legs each side. And then we're gonna pick up the heels, lower the knees into a tabletop position. Right foot's gonna step forward into a low lunge. So we're gonna take that 90-90 lunge, squaring it up if we can. Walking that front foot back so we find that squared up position and then right hip is gonna draw back. And then see if you can just kind of tuck your tailbone under so we find a little length through the front of the left thigh. Once you feel like you've found that, raise your arms up and look up. Awesome, now we're gonna add a side bend. So right hand's gonna find the right hip, left hand stays up, lean over to the right, get a little side stretch, then see if you can tune in and notice the front of the left hip, the side of the left hip. Maybe you even notice down into your left thigh toward your knee, take one more breath. Beautiful, and then lift up, float your hands down to the ground, step that foot back, switching sides. So right foot's gonna step forward, we're gonna find that 90-90 lunge again. Pulling that left hip crease back, drawing the tailbone down, finding a little sensation through the front of the right hip now. And then if you feel like you found it, reach your arms up and look up. Awesome, and then we'll add that side bend. Left hand comes down, lean over to the left. Beautiful, and then when you're ready, release, float your hands down, step that front foot back into your tabletop position. Take three cat cows here. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your chest, lift your tail. Exhale to round your back. Inhale to drop your belly. Exhale to round. One more breath, inhale. Exhale to round. Find a neutral spine, big toes together, knees to the outer edges of your mat, come back to your extended child's pose. But if you like here, you're gonna bring the prayer hands together, elbows are gonna stay down on the ground and prayer hands are gonna come behind the head. Take one more breath here. And then if your prayer hands are behind your head, go ahead and float them down to the ground. Lift yourself up gently away from the ground, curl your toes under and lift up to downward facing dog. Look forward, walk your feet up to meet your hands, come to forward fold at the top of your mat. At the top of your mat, with that folded over position, we're gonna find a little cupcake hands or piano fingers. So we're gonna tent our fingers so the fingertips help support a nice wide spread of the fingers. Shift your weight over to your left foot. Slide your right heel up, find that nice little lift like you're hugging your heel in toward your butt. And then we're gonna kind of push that heel up towards the ceiling, not an extreme standing split, but we're just gonna find a little freedom to move that leg around. So push your heel up towards the ceiling and lower it slightly. One more time, push your heel up towards the ceiling and lower it slightly, beautiful. And then set that foot down, rearrange your fingers if you need to. And then we're gonna take it to the other side. So we're gonna pick up that heel, bending the heel towards the butt, beautiful. And then push your heel up towards the ceiling and then lower it just a little bit. Push your heel up and lower it just a little bit. One more, just like that, push your heel up, lower it just a little bit and then release it all the way down to the ground. Super giant bend in your knees, pull your abdominal muscles in, roll up to a standing position. 
and roll your shoulders down and back. Awesome. And now as it is 7 30, 8 30, 9 30, depending on which part of the world you're in, if you got to get on with the rest of your day, I hope that it's awesome. But if you're sticking around, find your mountain pose at the top of your mat, and we're going to pick up the pace just a little bit. So anchor into your feet, lift up through the top of your head. Inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale and fold down, knees bent or straight, totally up to you. Inhale to a half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, step the right leg back, a high lunge. So we're gonna keep the knee lifted and the heel lifted. Heart forward, look forward, take a breath. And then we're gonna take three bends and straightens of that front leg. You're gonna straighten it just as much as feels good so that you feel a little lengthening through the back of the leg, but not so much that you're feeling any sensation up into your left glute. Nice. And then the next time you come forward into your lunging position, look forward, take a nice big breath. And now we're going to drop the back heel in a rotation like you're setting up for your warrior two. We're going to let the right hand spin you up, but then we're going to right away pick up the left foot so both feet turn out to the side of your mat. And then you'll rearrange your feet as needed, just depending on which variation your knees like. But now we're going to start to find a little bend of the knees side to side. Cool. And then just make sure you feel like you good, have a good solid foundation of your feet and your knees because we're going to take it into our, our sweep the table. So we're going to see if we can keep and maintain a little sway in the knees. And now we're going to take a little swing of the arms. So you're going to imagine that there's a table of emotional stuff in front of you. And we're just going to let those arms sweep across that table, kicking it all around. Start slow. Make sure it's a mindful situation down in your knees and your feet. And then if it's feeling good, let it fly. Nice and fast, let your arms move with you. Let your heart rate get up a little bit. Let your breath come up a little bit. Nice, take one more sway side to side at that rapid pace and then start to slow it down. Let your arms swing nice and slow, floating your hands down towards the ground. So we have a wide position with our legs, hands are gonna find the ground and then keep that little gentle sway side to side just for a moment, tune in, notice the inner thighs. Awesome, and then let that sway come to stillness. Straighten your legs both just as much as you like. Walk your hands over toward your right foot, soften your nose toward your knee. Cool, and then walk your hands over toward your other foot and soften your nose toward your knee. Beautiful, and then bring it back to center. We're gonna soften the knees, pivot the feet. So we're gonna walk around towards the front end of our mat, coming back into a lunging position. Nice, and then plant your palms, step back to a plank. Lower your knees, lower with control onto your belly. Inhale up to a low cobra. Exhale and lower down. Slide your hands back about two inches or so, just so now your hands come a little bit more in line with your armpits. Inhale and lift your heart just a little higher. Exhale and lower down. Awesome, slide your hands back. So maybe your hands are coming a little closer to the ribs here. Inhale and lift your heart nice and high. Exhale, lower down. Push your way up into a tabletop position. Curl your toes under, exhale up to downward facing dog. Awesome, we're gonna take the right leg up nice and high into three-legged dog. And then we're gonna step that foot through to the top of the mat. So if you can pick up that back heel, hike it up and then step that foot through just as far as it goes, help it along the rest of the way. And then we're gonna take it into a light standing half split. So we're gonna walk our hands forward with those nice tall cupcake hands, pick up the back leg and just lift it up barely so that it just feels a little sensation through the back of your standing leg. Take one good breath. Beautiful, and then release that left foot down into your forward fold. Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, press firm into your feet. Inhale, sweep your arms up and overhead. Hands to heart center, hands down at your side. Inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale and fold, knees bent or straight, totally up to you. Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, stepping the left leg back into our high lunge. So the heel stays lifted, knee stays lifted. Heart forward, look forward, take a breath. Nice, and then three bends and straightens of that front leg, just going as far as you like. So you feel a little bit of lengthening through the back of the leg without tugging against your glute. 
Nice, and then bring it back to that lunge, heart forward. And then we're gonna drop the back heel down so we can pivot open through that warrior two position, but then straight in the front leg and let both toes pivot out to the side of your mat. Once you found your way there, start by finding that little sway side to side and just rearrange your knees and your toes so it suits your body and your hips. And then once you feel like you found it, just make sure that you have plenty of room to move. So we're gonna find a little swing of the arms and then sweep the table. Take it into a nice big motion, letting your arms move rapidly, letting your legs move with a little bit of power, letting your heart rate come up, letting your breath come up. If it becomes too much, you can always slow it down and take it at a pace and a rhythm that feels good to you, but it feels good to let it fly, let your arms swing, feel that nice strength in your arms, feel that nice strength in your legs. And then when you're ready to start slowing it down, start to float your hands down to the ground, keeping a light sway in the legs. Beautiful, and then bringing it into a more central location, soften your legs, soften the back of your neck, soften the back of your body. Lock your hands over towards your left foot, soften your nose towards your knee. Walk your hands over towards your right foot and soften your nose towards your knee. Nice, bring it back to center. And then when you're ready, we're gonna pivot around on our feet, finding our way towards the front end of our mat, bending that front knee coming through your lunge. Beautiful, plant your palms, step it back to a plank. Bring your knees down lower with control onto your belly. Hands alongside the shoulders, inhale a low cobra. Exhale to lower down, slide your hands back a little bit. Inhale, lift your heart a little higher. Exhale, lower down, slide your hands back just a little bit more. Inhale, lift your heart as high as you like. Exhale, lower down, beautiful. Push your way up into a tabletop position. Exhale up to downward facing dog. Left leg is gonna come up into three-legged dog. We're gonna hike the back heel, the right heel up. So we get a little lift, a little space to move and then step that left foot through to the top of your mat. Nice. And then hands are gonna come forward in those nice tall cupcake hands. And we're just gonna barely pick that right leg up. Beautiful. And then release it down into your forward fold position. Inhale to a half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, press firm into your feet. Inhale, sweep your arms up and overhead. Hands to heart center, hands down at your side. Pause here just for a moment. Notice your body, notice your breath. Hopefully you're feeling a little bit warmer now. Take one more breath here. And then just because sweep the table can be a little bit of a, an emotional release, just to make sure we got all of our stuff out, we're just gonna take a couple of seconds here to do a little bounce in the heels. So you're just gonna start to pop your heels up away from the floor and invite a nice gentle vibration back into your body. Still might be creating a little energy and warmth, but hopefully it's a more gentle release. Take a moment here to notice your breath and that bouncing maneuver. Take one more little bounce of the heels and then let everything come back to stillness. Close your eyes, take a nice deep inhale. Nice, slow exhale. Beautiful, when you're ready, inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale and fold. Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, step the right leg back, high lunge, knee lifted, heel lifted, heart forward, look forward, take a breath. One straighten up that front leg, soften your nose toward your knee. Bend that front knee so you come back through that lunge. Beautiful, drop the back knee down, release your back toes or keep them tucked, that'll be totally up to you. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Left hand to the hip, right hand reaches up over to the left, take a little side bend. Beautiful, releasing down, float both hands to the ground. One half splits here, pull the hips back, peel the front toes off, and then create a little space. So think about lifting through the front of the body, a little length through the front of the body, and then soften your nose towards your knee. 
Nice, and then rock yourself forward through that low lunge into a high lunge. Pick the back knee up, plant your palms, step back to plank. Lower your knees, lower with control onto your belly. One cobra here, inhale, lift up as high as you like. Exhale to lower down, curl the toes under, either push your way up to a table or up through plank, and then find your way into downward facing dog. Right leg up into three-legged dog, lift up as high as you like, and then we're gonna step that foot through to the top of the mat. So if your leg only goes about a half or a third of the way, you're gonna step it just as far as you go and then grab hold of that ankle, help it along the rest of the way, heart forward, look forward, take a breath. Nice, and now we're gonna take it into a standing half split. So you're gonna walk your hands forward, get those nice tall cupcake hands, pick that back leg up, just as high as you like, take one good breath, Beautiful, and then release that foot into forward fold. Bend your knees a lot, pull your abdominal muscles in, roll up to a standing position, roll your shoulders down and back. Inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale, fold everything down. Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, left leg back into that high lunge. Heel lifted, knee lifted, take a breath. Beautiful, bring that back knee. Ooh. Straighten that front leg, soften your nose toward your knee. Bend that knee, bring it back down, and then drop that back knee down, toes tucked to release, totally up to you, into that low lunge position. If it feels good, inhale, arms up. Beautiful, right hand to the hip, left hand reaches up and lean over to the right. Awesome, and then release. Hands are gonna find the ground, pulling back to half split. So we're gonna pull the hips back, peel the front toes up, and then create a little space through the front of the body. So think about lifting through the belly, lifting through the chest, soften your nose towards your knee. Awesome, and then when you're ready, rock it forward, pick that back knee up, plant the palms, step back to plank. Lower with control onto your belly. Inhale up to Cobra, just as high as you like. Exhale to lower down, either power up to a plank or take it through a tabletop position and then find your way up to downward facing dog. Left leg up nice and high into three-legged dog. Step that foot through to the top of the mat, just as far as it goes, help it along the rest of the way. Beautiful, and then into our standing half splits here. So hands are gonna walk forward, nice tall cupcake hands. Pick up that back leg, lift it up just as high as you like. Awesome, and then release that foot into forward fold. Bend your knees a lot, pull your abdominal muscles in, roll up to a standing position, roll your shoulders down and back. Nice, and then we're gonna take the left hand, reach back and see if you can just catch hold of your right elbow pit. Get a little handhold there. Once you feel like you've got a good handhold, Drop your left ear over to your left shoulder. One more breath. Awesome, and then lift your head back up. Release your handhold and switch to the other side. So right hand's gonna reach back, see if you can catch hold of that left elbow pit. And then once you've found your way there, drop your right ear over to your right shoulder. Beautiful, when you're ready, lift your head up to center, release your hand holds from your elbow pit, both hands down at your sides. Inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale, bend your knees and fold down. Inhale to a half forward fold. Exhale, invite a little softness in with tall fingers and soft knees. We're gonna pick the right leg up into our standing half splits, and then we're gonna take it into three little curtsies. So you're gonna lift it up just as high as you like and then into Shiva squat. So right knee is gonna tuck behind the left into a little curtsy, and then send that leg up nice and high. Beautiful, bend and bring it in. Send it up nice and high. One more just like that, bend and bring it in. Send it up nice and high. Awesome, and then release it into your forward fold and we're gonna take it to the other side. So we're gonna pick the left leg up, send it up as high as you like into your Shiva squat. So knee tucks behind the knee into a little curtsy and then send that foot up nice and high. Beautiful, bend and bring it in. So we tuck the left knee behind the right 
and lift it up nice and high. Awesome, one more just like that, bend and bring it in. Send it up nice and high. And then release it into your forward fold position. Curling down into a little ball of yarn. So we're gonna pick up the heels, bend the knees, roll yourself down, tuck your chin into your chest and take a nice big breath. Beautiful, and then from here, we're just gonna sit our butt back down onto the ground with that bent knee position. We're gonna take a little firm handhold to the sides of the thighs. Your hands are gonna hold on tight. Knees push out, hands push in. And then as you get that pushing out and in sensation, roll your way down to the ground with control. Nice, and then once you've found your way down to the ground, give a second. Let your body get comfortable. Let your spine chill out for a second. Fix up your clothes and fix up your hair. Walk your heels a little closer to your butt so feet are about hip width distance apart. We're gonna take it into some bridges here. So hands down alongside the hips, palms facing down. Press the backs of your arms and the tops of your shoulders into the earth. Inhale and lift your hips up nice and high. Exhale, lower them down with control. Inhale, lift your hips up nice and high. Exhale, lower down. One more just like that. Inhale and lift up. Exhale to lower down. Beautiful. And now we're going to take it into our Supta Baddha Konasana or reclined cobbler's pose. So soles of the feet together, knees out to the left and to the right. Hang out there for just a second. Make sure everything feels good. Make sure your tailbone is happy. You've got a good position with the hips. Soles of the feet are touching. And now we're going to put a little press between the soles of the feet. Elbows can come down alongside your ribs, so you can use your elbows for a little leverage. And we're gonna take three hip bridges here. So we're gonna press into the soles of the feet, squeeze the glutes, lift your butt up just as high as it will go. And then exhale, lower back down. Inhale and lift up. Exhale to lower. One more time, inhale, lift up. Exhale to lower, keep your feet in that Cobbler's pose position, hands are gonna find the inner thighs and just allow the weight of your hands to rest on your inner thighs. So we're not pushing the thighs down. We're not trying to make ourselves go into a, an extreme position, but just that little bit of weight from your hands. Invite a little softness into your inner thighs, a little softness into your belly. Take one more breath. Awesome, then let your hands find the outsides of your thighs, help your knees come together, pull them up into your chest, give yourself a light little squeeze, maybe a gentle rock side to side. Beautiful, now we're gonna set the left foot down, set up for a figure four position. So right leg is gonna come across the left, pause there for a moment and notice, you might already be there, this might already be enough. If this feels great, but you want that little bit more, you're gonna lift the left leg up. Maybe you'll thread your hands through, grab the back of the thigh or the top of your shin, and then hug it in, inviting softness into your shoulders, softness into your belly, softness into your jaw. Keeping with this figure four position, we're gonna take three bends and straightens of the left leg. So you're just gonna reach your left foot up towards the ceiling, only going as far as feels good, and then bend and bring it back down. Reach your left foot up towards the ceiling, bend and bring it back down. Nice, one more just like that. Reach your foot up towards the ceiling, bend and bring it back down. Awesome, and then release your left foot all the way down to the ground, step your right foot off. Take a couple of little gentle windshield wipers just to invite some fluid back into the hips. And then when you're ready, we're gonna set it up to the other side. So left leg is gonna come across the right into your figure four shape. You might be here. This might be awesome for you. If this feels great, but you want more sensation, maybe you pick up the right leg. Maybe you thread your hands through, grab the back of the thigh or the top of your shin. And then see where here can you invite softness in? Can you soften your shoulders? Can you soften your belly? Can you soften your jaw?
Awesome, and then when you're ready, three bends and straightens of the right leg, floating the heel up towards the ceiling, bending and releasing it back down. Reaching your foot up towards the ceiling, bend and bring it back down. One more, just like that. Bend and bring it back down, beautiful. And then release your handholds, set your feet down, step your feet so that they're a little wider than hip width position apart, maybe a shoulder width distance. And then we're gonna drop the knees over to the right right away. Let them sink all the way down. Keep your left shoulder fairly grounded. So knees are dropped to the right, left shoulder is grounded. Take a nice big breath. Cool, and then bring your arms into more of a T position. So straight out from the shoulders. And then we're gonna add three side bends here. So left hand is gonna to reach towards the left foot as the right hand reaches up towards the top edge of your mat. And then bring it back so shoulders are back in line with, <laughs> arms are back in line with the shoulders. And then do that again. Reach your left hand towards your left foot. And then bring it back in. One more time, just like that. Left hand towards the left foot, right hand reaches up and then bring it back down. Nice, and then float your knees up to center and then drop them over to the other side. So knees drop over to the left, right shoulder stays nice and anchored. Pause there for a moment, take a breath. And then we'll add three side bends here. So right hand is gonna reach towards the right foot as the left hand reaches up and then bring it back to center. Right hand reaches towards the right foot as the left hand reaches up and bring it back to center. Cool, one more time, just like that. Right hand towards the right foot as the left hand reaches up and then bring it back to center. Beautiful, and then float both knees up towards the ceiling and then into constructive rest. Let your knees drop in towards each other. Take a second to just rearrange your tailbone and your hips in a way that feels good. And then arms are gonna come across the chest in our I've Dream of Genie arms and just take a few pulls of the elbows side to side. If you like, add your head as well. So as your elbows pull in one direction, head turns in the opposite direction. Take one more pull of your elbows side to side. And then bring it back to center. Hands are gonna float down alongside the hips. We're gonna pull both knees up into the chest, give a light little sensation of knees getting heavy towards the chest. And then we're gonna take it right into legs up the wall. So keeping your hands down on the ground, if you can float your heels up towards the ceiling, which as much bend in your knees as feels appropriate to you. So we really wanna find a soft looseness in this position. Let your tailbone and your hips get heavy into the earth. Let your belly be a little bit of a soft position. Let your feet be soft, let your ankles be soft and let your arms just fall out in a comfortable position here. Nice, and then we're gonna keep our left leg as stationary as we can and we're just gonna give our right leg a little shake. And then let your right leg come to stillness and give your left leg a little shake. Nice, and then both legs come to a stillness and we're just gonna give a couple of points and flex the feet. Beautiful, and then when you're ready, start to find your way into your Shavasana. So you might choose to come back to constructive rest. You might choose to take a more traditional shape. You might choose a um, <laughs> reclined cobbler's pose, or you might choose to flip over onto your belly or your side. So any position that allows you to find a little restful stillness, whatever makes sense to you here.
start to bring your awareness back into your body. Become aware of the floor beneath you. If it feels good to do so, maybe turn your head gently side to side, just bringing some gentle movement back into your cervical spine and massaging out the back of your head. And then when you're ready, slowly start to increase that waking up, wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, invite some gentle movement back into the, your outer limbs, maybe wiggling into your hips a little bit, maybe moving into your knees a little bit, just any little bit of gentle movement that helps reawaken you. And then if all is feeling good, maybe take a good morning stretch. If your knees are bent, walk them nice and long, and then just reach nice and long from your fingers down to your toes. Take a nice big giant breath back into your body. Awesome. And then in your own way, start to find yourself up to a comfortable seated position. So maybe you'll come up to Sukhasana with legs crossed or any other seat that lets you sit up nice and tall. Cool. And then if you're wearing glasses this morning, go ahead and take them off and set them somewhere safe. We're going to rub our palms together, get the palms nice and hot. And then we're gonna use the heels of the hands to press gently into the eyes. So take a little time here to just get those hands nice and good and hot. And then once you feel like you found enough friction, enough warmth in the palms, place the heels of your hands into your eyes and a little gentle press. We're not cramming into the eyes, but just enough so you feel a little pressure and then take a nice deep breath in. Nice slow breath out. Awesome, and then taking your index finger and your middle finger, you're just gonna find your temples and give your temples a gentle rub. And then take those fingers and just circle them right down your jawline, releasing any tension you may be holding in your jaw. And then all the way down to the chin and just give your chin a little circle in one direction and then give your chin a little circle the other way. <laughs> nice, and then bringing your prayer hands to heart center and Anjali Mudra, bow your head to your heart. Breathing in love and gratitude for yourself, for your mind, for your body, and for all of your hard work. And breathe in a little extra love and gratitude that you can carry with you through the rest of your day and share with everyone you see. And gently lift up through the top of your head. Gently open your eyes. Maybe put your glasses back on if you took them off. I bow to you. Happy Thursday. Nice work today, you guys.